You're with Julian on the brand note, Andy Gladys Berry Jicklin, Queen of our hearts, Saint of our souls. Um, just make the greatest case ever for a federal ICAC. Yes, Independent Commission Against Corruption is what we have here in the state of New South Wales since I think 1988. Now, Scott Morris, the Labour Party have been proposing uh, a federal version of this for a few years now. And it's one of the only policies that Labour have that Anthony Albanese is actually not abandoned. I am. I said a few weeks ago, if he abandons this one too, I won't vote Labour at the next election. Um, but so far, he's <laughs> holding firm on one thing alone. Now, Scott Morrison is obviously not very keen on this because um, it will be investigating exactly what happened in the last election where we were up to our neck in potential corruption with hundreds of millions of dollars of taxpayers' money being spent on car park rorts, sports rorts, and who knows what else. Now, Morrison has been saying that he agrees there should be an ICAC at a federal level, but wants to define the terms to have all the hearings in private so he can never hear what's being said and to make none of it retrospective. So nothing that happened in the previous election would ever get investigated. And that could be one of the most corrupt elections in Australian history. It's certainly the worst thing to have happened to this country in the last 40 years. Uh, look at what we've ended up with. And what we could have ended up with, with a brilliant raft of policies from a really good man and a good leader and a solid Labour team under Bill Shorten that would have had action on climate change and not been an international pariah, wouldn't have caused all these stumbles, would have had a different response to covid and would have finally engaged with negative gearing and all of the other little welfare checks the Liberals have given to the rich that has wildly distorted the way of life in this country to benefit the wealthy. Um, so that is important that the Liberals don't get control of it because usually when they get control of any commission that they put in, they make sure they neuter it, they, they change the terms of reference so it can never do anything. Uh, the response when Gladys was uh, evicted from her job, um, where she resigned in lieu of what was coming from this ICAC, the wailing from the press was unprecedented. It was the biggest attack on the ICAC you could possibly imagine. People like Waleed Ali, supposedly liberal people in the media sphere, were saying that it was an abuse of the ICAC power. How could they possibly get rid of this wonderful, saintly Mother Teresa character? Well, they've been rather quiet since this drip feed of information from the public hearings about Gladys, where her saintly demeanour has been ruptured ever so slightly uh, she has been revealed to be just as vulgar a politician and a political animal as everyone else. And over and over she is telling her lover, disgraced Daryl Maguire, that she will get him millions upon millions for his personal private projects, his seats. He is talking about he's going to make a million and a half out of this deal. She said she wasn't really paying attention. Uh, he was telling her to get encrypted phone services. So it's been a pretty bad couple of days at the, in the witness box. She's been in the witness box on the Friday and on Monday where we were bewildered by the amount of multi-million dollar projects where Gladys said, I can get you the money, I can do this, so I'm going to tell Dominic Peritot, the uh, current incumbent leader, uh, that he's my lap dog, he will do anything I say, I'm going to get this um, public servant out because I hate his guts and all of these wonderful things that have really pierced her sainthood. And a lot of the people who are criticising the ICAC have gone really quiet now. So we're now waiting to see if um, they charge her with anything. Now, she's shown that she uses public funds like a personal bank account to get elected. She is on record as saying that she admits to $252 million of public money being spent on port barreling, the paperwork being destroyed, and the fact that she justified it saying that's how politics works. Now, the fact that's how politics works is a problem. That's why we need the ICAC, because it shouldn't work like that. We shouldn't be spending billions of dollars of public money 
to win your friends' seats uh, by building car parks in their electorates or rowing clubs or, or whoever your friend is, giving them the money to shore up your own political place in life. And she's got a number of very contentious uh, potential lies in her testimony as well, such as telling her chief of staff that um, she'd finished a relationship before she became premier and accusing that person of being a liar, basically, saying that she had a different recollection and she'd never told him, uh, told that person. Her, I think her chief of staff, she said, oh, I never said that the relationship had ended and, and so on. And multiple times that... Daryl Maguire has been blowing hot and cold about how all these crazy money schemes he's got going where she just says she basically wasn't paying attention. The relationship wasn't that important. They just talked about having kids and marriage and were in love, but really just normal stuff. So the fact that politics is like that is a problem. This is why we need the ICAC. The media in this country is, as I've done on multiple pieces, the worst in the developed world when it comes to kissing the Liberal government's backside and never holding them to account. That's what the ICAC is doing. That's why we need it at a federal level. If you think New South Wales is bad, can you imagine what Scott Morrison's going to like? These guys are going to be twice as bad. They will do anything at all to get elected. And they have done. And we want to know what that is. And we want to know what the conversations are. The fact that they've had to testify in public is everything. It has shot her reputation to pieces. As soon as she got kicked out of her face... They were talking about her being a future prime minister. They were talking about installing her in the local seat where I am now in Warringah and making her uh, a future federal leader. And now, in a couple of days in the witness box, that's going to be very hard. So the fact that we've got so many people in politics that have said her time in the witness box proves that the ICAC had overreached and it was a failure, that's a problem. Uh, half the Liberal Party have said that it's um, shown the ICAC is just this politically motivated thing and didn't show any corruption and so on. The other half of the Liberal Party are coming out and saying, if you don't think that showed corruption, there's a big problem there. There's a massive problem. If you just listen to all of that use of public funds to help your friends out and you don't think that that's corruption, you think that's business as usual and that she's fine and she should go on to lead the country... There's a huge problem here. It's the famous liberal entitled to rule mentality that the Tory party in the UK have. They think that they're entitled to rule the country. They don't like being questioned by us plebs. They must hate the fact that there is a state ICAC in New South Wales. And we desperately need one with no media to hold our government account at a federal level. We And the most concentrated print media ownership in the world behind China and Egypt who have state-owned print media and where the Murdoch press runs rampant and where the Sydney Morning Herald is owned by Channel 9 and uh, one of the bosses is ex-liberal deputy prime minister uh, and treasurer uh, Peter Costello. We need the ICAC to do what our media won't and one of the biggest things is to pierce this sense of liberal entitlement that it's okay to behave the way they do because they're them. So thank you, Gladys. As you uh, close the barn door on your way out for giving us the best reason ever for a federal ICAC and hopefully the best momentum to getting one.